parking lot, guys. There's nobody here. What is going on? My name is Officer O'Leary, and welcome to Six Flags Great Adventure. Today, we're going to find a nice up-close parking spot. I think, nah, I'm gonna go right over here. This is perfect. Look at this, guys. There is a lot of buses, but not a lot of cars. Always a good sign. So we're just gonna plop ourselves right here and uh, throw it in park and head on in. These people came all the way from Michigan. Like, what? They had to pass Cedar Point to come here. Like, that's the same thing, guys. Like, you had to pass the theme park with the, or the amusement park with the world's largest, or the, crap, I can't speak right now. I'm having one of those days, guys. I kind of woke up early. Uh, I had to work this morning, and it's like noon right now, so I've been up for kind of a long time. I actually had to go down to my aunt's house to help out with some stuff after work. She has a storage unit. Uh, we like to take stuff there. And it's really windy. But, uh, yeah, we're down on the park right now. Let's see what it's like. down a bunch of water slides and apparently my phone can't handle like a light splash of water because water got inside the lens. I don't know if water got directly inside of it, but it's definitely condensation. So it's cleared up over the, the past week, so it's been gone. And it's hardly noticeable at this point. So hopefully you guys can bear with me here. The video is still being shot in 4K, so hopefully that's I apologize though if it does get foggy. Look at that grass for a As you guys know, I know a lot about this park. I have researched this park for many, many, many years and know tons of information about it. I know where everything is. I know where everything used to be, except for this. Does anybody know what these yellow pillars right here are for? There's two of them right here, side by side. I'm just not sure what they're for because they just like kind of go up and end like they were cut off or something. Please, somebody post down in the comments and let me know what I'm looking at right now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. I don't know. I, I've noticed them like the last few weeks when I've been coming. Like I've been coming almost every day for the last few weeks. And I don't record every time I'm here, by the way. Um, but yeah, uh, anybody, just let me know what those are. <laughs> so last time I was here, they were doing the Memorial Weekend sale. I think everything was like 65% off or something like that. And uh, now currently, you guys can come for the Red Alert sale. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's up with all these sales. I know Six Flags is just trying to get as many people into the parks as possible. But yeah, it's like sale after sale after sale. Hello. Uh, good, how are you? So we're coming in through the membership, yeah, <laughs> membership priority entrance. As you guys saw, there was a person there standing in the front to make sure there weren't any non-members coming through. Very quiet in here today. It's <laughs> so quiet, in fact, that the first aid card is parked in the center of Main Street here. <laughs> Obviously, there's like nothing to block it or anything, so that's totally fine, but wow, it's really empty here today. <laughs> Lately, I've been uh, actually playing just with the CJ! Hi, CJ! Hi, <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, I'm sick. My friend CJ, I'm not really friends with him. I know, for, I know, I have friends that are friends with him. <laughs> He's a regular here at the park. Hangs out and rides all the coasters and stuff. Got Bugs and Daffy over here. It always seems to be Bugs and Daffy together. There's a, a bunch of different groups of characters that you can meet and greet here at Six Flags. Look at that. Awesome. Looks like the Six Flags photos is uh, closed today, so you can't get your daily photos. What the fuck? Well, we're gonna cut right through over here, and we're gonna go straight toward Cyborg. And uh, I'm actually gonna go for a wrap at Metropolis, so uh, we're just gonna plop down and uh, watch watch uh, Cyborg test if it, if it tests. I don't know if it's gonna test or not. Just guessing here. Look at that vending machine. That vending machine had seen better days. Doing a promotion over here at uh, Adventures Super Adventure Alley Super Shots. I can't speak right now. They're doing a dollar per play. It's been like that now for about a week or two. But yeah, dollar isn't too bad to play a basketball game here in the park. Low flying aircraft. Funny thing about low flying aircraft is there's always low flying aircraft here at the park actually because. There's a major military base nearby. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of uh, McGuire Dix Lake uh, McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Uh, it's a Nash, uh, Nash. I was about to say National Guard. Uh, it's a joint base between uh, different branches of the military, and that's nearby. So you get a lot of big cargo planes coming through, and uh, they just fly over top of the park. It always seems like they're gonna like crash into King the Cock because it's so tall. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going on about nothing right now. We are coming up to Cyborg, so let's check it out. It looks like right now they just have it sitting up in the air like that. <laughs> Not really sure why, but it looks really cool. 
a little bit off too. It's not like perfectly centered. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video or not. But uh, a couple things that I've noticed back here is they have this big clearing here. They, they cleared out a bunch of trees behind Cyborg and uh, they might possibly be able to put another ride back here or maybe a couple rides or even a small roller coaster. I don't want to get my hopes up, but yeah, this area over here is all cleared out and it's perfect prime real estate for something nice. Actually, this area right over here, believe it or not, was the site of the, uh, the Haunted Castle fire, um, which of course is a very tragic accident that happened here at the park in the 1980s. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that, but it's kind of interesting how this whole area has been cleared out. And uh, we're just gonna head on over here real quick, show you guys the queue line. Looks really, really nice, fresh and clean, good landscaping around the whole side of it. Um, looks like they have the test dummies out. Also, we'll take a look at this, uh, this story right here. Half man, half machine. You guys can pause the video and read that if you guys want to. I posted it up on Instagram before. <laughs> Looks like a conglomeration of maintenance workers and supervisors all under the ride over here. For what reason? I do not know. I don't recognize any of them. As you guys know, I know a lot of people here, and I do not recognize any of those people. <laughs> yeah, they got the, uh, I think this was the uh, boom lift that they had over... Or, what am I calling it? A boom lift? I don't know if that's proper terminology. But they had this lift over here, over near uh, the Skyscreamer yesterday, when it was having technical difficulties. I'm not sure if they have all that fixed or not, but we're gonna check that out too after we're done eating. Poor Justice League. Oh man, uh, this ride. I love this ride so much. Lately, over the past few weeks, I've actually been coming in. I found some secret targets, and I've been improving my score. So far, my top score is actually 350,000, which is quite a jump uh, since my last video. Actually, my last video, I only got like 170,000. So I've been I've been doing quite well in this ride lately. Too bad though that it's down right now. Hopefully it reopens. You see, when Justice League first opened here, I was a little skeptical. I wasn't really sure how good or how great it was gonna be, but it ends. It's it's really good. It impresses me every time I get on that ride. It's just like super fun. All the motion sequences seem real. Just just a really good ride. All right, we're heading into Metropolis. I'm gonna get a refill and a wrap. Just got my wrap and my refill, and I'm sat down here by the uh, Justice League in front of Cyborg. And something interesting just happened to me while I was inside Metropolis. I actually went to go fill my water bottle up inside the Coke uh, Freestyle machine, and the lady stopped me from doing it. She said, no, you, you can't fill up a regular water bottle in the Freestyle machine, even with water. Because apparently it's um, some type of safety violation or something, or uh, a rule violation. There's a state law, apparently, that goes against us using regular water bottles in there. I don't know. I'm going off of what she was told and then what she told me. So apparently there's some type of BS state law that you can't fill up water bottles and soda machines. What? I don't know. Anyway, we're over here by Cyborg. We're just kind of sitting in front of it to see if anything happens. Uh, it doesn't look like anything though, because there's a lot of people standing around the ride still. It's like tons of supervisors and people in orange vests. So I'm not really too sure. Also, the uh, lockers look like they're fully set up and ready to go. It looks like this ride might be opening either this weekend or the next weekend. Not too sure. Anyway, I got the chicken here. I'm gonna dig in and uh, so Talking about Batman the Ride, we're actually going around to check out in the skyscraper. It's been having a lot of issues lately. My goodness, I've never seen so many people using these motorized or these uh, RC monster trucks in my life. Oh my god, they're pretty cool looking though. I'm not gonna lie, these RC monster trucks are pretty awesome, but I've never seen so many people over there at once. There's also a uh, remote control boat right over there. All right, uh, I think that's it. I'm not sure. Are there any more remote control things you can do in this park? I'm pretty sure it's just the monster trucks and the boats over there. So the, sky right, the Skyway is up and running despite the high winds. I was a little bit shocked to see that it was open. A lot of times the Skyway is closed when it's windy. Not today. Over here by the Skyscreamer, as you guys can see, that piece that was actually broken, uh, that they were manually lowering, I guess, or manually messing around with, is here on the floor, right there in the center. Um, it's some type of rubber chain of sorts. I'm really not 100% sure, but I just heard like a weird sound coming from the tower. I'm not sure if they're inside working on it right now, maybe. I'm not too sure. 
but uh, the the chain in question right there actually goes up the tower right above the star. As you guys can see, there's a uh, there's a track for it, and it actually goes up and down the entire tower all the way to the top. And I'm not really too sure what happened. There's some type of major malfunction causing the rubber to break. There's also like rivets of rubber on the ground here. I'm not sure if it's really rubber or plastic. I'm, I'm not too sure the material that the chain is made out of. But as you guys can see, this whole pathway next to me is all closed off. And they actually took a piece of the queue line out and uh, placed it over there near the operator booth. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see how long it takes them to get this fixed and back up and running again. Anyway, we're over here in the lakefront section of the park. That was actually my home ride, the skyscraper, when I worked here. Uh, kind of crazy. Hopefully everything is okay, okay with it. But... Over here by Swashbuckler. Nestor, what's up, bro? The Buccaneer here is an Intamin Pirate Chip model. There are several different models of this, uh, made by made by several different manufacturers. Quite the line over here for the Joker. My goodness, <laughs> it's really not that bad actually. It's probably about a 10 or 15 minute line. It just looks really bad because I'm not used to seeing the line over here. The Joker usually doesn't have any line. Total mayhem on the Joker. It's cringy. There it goes. Right here, I think this is the part that flips you the most. Right there. Sometimes you can get a good two flips out of that one. But the flips are controlled by these. Ooh, almost got my camera there. The the, uh, the 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 spins are actually controlled by these uh, magnetic fins. I don't know if you can see the fin right there. But yeah, those actually control your spins. Sorry, I like dropped my phone there and like totally lost track of what I was saying. Over here under the skylight by Liberty Snacks, which is a new for 2018 food stand, which is pretty crazy. And right across from it, there's actually a Hagen Dazs under construction, which is also going to be new for 2018 when it opens. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming to the park, as you guys already knew. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't have to tell you guys. I got tropical orange and strawberry flavor this time on my ice cream cone. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Mm. I knew about the flavor burst thing before, but I've never really tried it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I definitely recommend going to Sugar Shack or uh, the Funnel Cake place over in... Um, what is it? The Golden Kingdom Adventure Outpost. Definitely go to either two of those locations to get your flavor burst ice cream cones. Very, very good. And now we're going to head over toward uh, the Four Tents and we're going to check on the construction update on the Game Center over in the boardwalk. See if there's anything new going on over there. From over here we can see that they extended the fence all the way across both pathways, all the way down the lakefront over there. It's not technically the lakefront part of the park, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, the fence is going all the way down to the lake. And then over here, they still have this fence up. And inside the game center, it looks like they're doing some work and remodeling. Uh, they have a fresh coat of yellow paint along the back wall, as well as some decorating inside too. There's like some, uh, some designs and stuff on the wall as well. So I'm very curious to see what this turns into. It doesn't look like it's going to be an arcade much longer. And over here, we've got soccer darts. Fun inflatable classic. I actually set up soccer darts when I do events sometimes at work. A brand new fresh streak of blue paint is now visible across the entire boardwalk over here. And I'm not really sure why. Uh, to me this looks like some type of possible parade route. In the future there might be some type of entertainment going down these pathways. Not really too sure honestly. This is brand new as of today. Yesterday this was not here. Not really sure. <laughs> Big emphasis on this was not here yesterday because this is brand new fresh blue paint. Not sure. Almost as if the park is encompassing one giant smoking section. Because this is the same blue paint that they use to encompass smoking areas in the park. I don't know, like arena smoking area? That's like really, really, really big the whole length of the park? I don't know. <laughs> Obviously that's not what this is. But definitely, definitely curious to see what this turns into. Any type of parade or whatever. Still following the blue line. So it starts way, way over there near the carousel. It goes all the way around in front of the sky coaster. And then down boardwalk. And then over to here, and it seems to keep going. So we're just gonna follow this line and kind of see where it leads. Very curious to maybe figure out what this is. 
I don't know that this is necessarily going to lead us to anything that's going to tell us what this is for, but I don't know. Let's just uh, let's keep following this line. We're passing the other location that uh, serves flavor refreshing cones and uh, cups right over here. Six Flags Funnel Cake Factory has not I'm not sure if this place has as many flavors as uh, the Sugar Shack, though. The Sugar Shack has definitely a lot of flavors. All right, looks like we're going to bag it right here. I think I found the end of the line. Right over here by the path to safari. I'm not really sure why this is here. Maybe it's just to mark and tell people where the safari starts? I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe we should go back to where the line starts and see if there's maybe a marker for it. You guys can see just under the log flume's drop, there's actually a water pump currently pumping water from an, un like an unknown location. I'm not sure where it's getting the water from or why it's pumping it, but it could possibly be for the log flume because I'm pretty sure that's going to open pretty soon. If the log flume doesn't open within the next couple of weeks, I'm seriously going to think there's something wrong. I mean, they did just reprofile the drop, but uh, I'm pretty sure it should be open by now. It's like Memorial Day is over. It's pretty hot out. It's like 80 degrees. I don't know. I want my log flume. <laughs> Looks like Zoom and Jar is currently closed. You can see the uh, catch car gondolas are at the top of the tower. Oh, nope, nope, now they're lowering. <laughs> I lied. I don't know why it was hanging up there for so long. I guess because it must have just dropped. I don't know, I didn't notice. <laughs> anyway, we're over here by Bizarro. It looks like quite a crowd of people over there. We're not going to ride this today. I don't know that we're going to ride on any coasters today. See, the last couple days have actually been kind of sick. My stomach has been very upset. And uh, I've just been kind of hanging out at home. Like, I haven't been going out at all. I was thinking about... Uh, going to the park. I went to the park yesterday for maybe like a half an hour. I ate dinner and I didn't feel good at all after dinner So I just went straight home and uh, the day before that I also felt kind of garbagey Plus I had work. I don't know. It's been kind of a rough week for me, but uh, right now we're heading over toward uh, El Toro El Toro is running today. That's good to see. Last two days. It was actually closed for unknown reasons Good to see she's back up and running again. This is my favorite coaster in the park. I know I've mentioned that before Seriously, it's solid, solid woody. Really, <laughs> well, that sounded bad. <laughs> a really good wooden coaster here, guys, for sure. I won the Golden Ticket Award last year for the best wooden coaster. That's saying a lot. I mean, seriously. To be rated as the best wooden coaster in the world uh, over all other wooden coasters, that's pretty crazy. And I'm sure it's a little bit controversial. Like, I'm sure some people have different opinions, but this is definitely, definitely one of my favorite coasters. There goes your dumb drop. These airtime mills are absolutely nuts. I'm sorry, it's a little bit hard to see my uh, phone screen. It's very sunny out today. That hill right there is my favorite though. They call that the Rolling Thunder Hill because it goes right over Rolling Thunder's old track. Anyway, we're gonna go around, check the entry, and see what the wait time's looking like, and maybe Zumajaro is broken down. I can kind of see through the lift structure that there's gondolas like sitting there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey there, little buddy. There's a turtle. Hold on, here. I got you, buddy. Uh -oh. Here. I'm gonna put him back by the water. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, buddy. Here, we're gonna put you over here. Ah, right there. Bye, buddy. His name is Frank. Frank the turtle. There he goes, hobbling his way back toward the water. Back where he belongs. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> what on earth? The things that I find here at the park are just great. <laughs> here goes Toro again. Yeah, I've been actually trying to record more vlogs here lately, guys, but my phone cameras, or my cameras just have not been clearing up. But now they're good to go. There's still a little bit of condensation inside my front facing camera. I don't know if it's noticeable or not, but it's definitely there. I can see it with me own eyes. But, uh, yeah. That's crazy, that was a turtle in the path. What? <laughs> Frank the turtle. <laughs> the other one going by 
people are stacking their stuff next to uh, El Toro back there. I don't know if the security guard's too happy about that. Let's go! Let's go! Let's uh, go. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like too much of a line over here. Plenty of people buying lockers over here. Parks Larson Superloop is uh, seeing quite a line today. I've actually never seen it with this big of a line before. Except maybe when it opened. I don't know. I hate this ride. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. Just sit here and watch the cycle. That's the worst part. Come on, what on earth? Oh, it's like a stall I freaking hate this ride. <laughs> I literally almost threw up. I've only ridden this thing twice. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. No. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No, thank you about that one. Ugh. Red gives me chills. <laughs> this hasn't been open in a long time. I love this El Toro t-shirt. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. It's just kind of generic Six Flags stuff. With the devil ears, probably for El Diablo. Pretty cool sweatshirt. El freaking Toro. There's a crappy El Diablo shirt. I want to find one. <laughs> There's a funny El Diablo shirt over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. It says Loop Coaster. Not a coaster. Six Flags. Come on. Always marketing it as a coaster. Totally just ridiculous. Anyway, I'm just going to the bathroom right now. There's like a not so secret cut through the trees over here by the bathrooms. <laughs> you can go right behind the El Toro and get you up. Brings you out over here. <laughs> mostly used by employees, but I'm sure that if you were doing it, I'm sure nobody cares. Tango! Oh my god. Are you bored to death? Are you bored to death? <laughs> that guy's a supervisor. I don't know his name, but I'm pretty sure he was working here when I used to work here. Not 100% not on that. Really nice guy though, like most of the team members here. Like most of the supervisors and team members here are very nice. I get along with almost everyone. And uh, we're gonna cut down the tiger pathway over here. I call it the tiger pathway because you get the nice viewing angle of the tigers. You can uh, head over toward King Dakar or Bicycle. back toward El Toro or vice versa. Do whatever you want, man. I feel like they should have a sign on it. I don't know. This pathway seems to always have a nice scent of fly and pee. Or tiger pee, I'm not really sure. Is it tigers or lions? What's in, what's in here, guys? Anything? I don't see any tigers or lions or bears. What is in this enclosure? I think it's tigers. We have it here. Nope, nope, nothing. I want to see a tiger. Do you want to build a snowman? Look at how dirty this glass is. Like, this isn't my phone fogging up. This, is, this is glass is just genuinely disgusting. I don't know why they don't clean that. <laughs> theming! Albeit very weird theming. I'm not really too sure what the heck this is supposed to be. But there's another one of these actually on the other side of the pathway over in the Shad by King Dika. Ooh, hey, a dragonfly. Come here, buddy. Ooh. 
kind of hard to follow. I love this like temple entrance. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is really, but I think it's a temple entrance, is it? Post down in the comments what you guys think this is. To me, it's like a really cool photo op. Like if you have a big group of people, you can just like get all together right here in front of this uh, doorway or whatever. It's a good photo op. Apparently back in 2005 when Kingdika first opened to the public, the line for it stretched all the way out. Either this pathway going toward Altoro or this pathway going toward the boardwalk. I can't remember which. Obviously I wasn't a regular at the park back in 2005. Big ass turtle. Look at that thing. Obviously we've seen him before, but look at this guys. There's like a new turtle here. I don't know. This one seems pretty active. Look at him. Just eating the grass. <laughs> I wonder how much these things weigh. Like that guy back there, he probably weighs like at least 500 pounds, if not like a thousand or more. And this guy, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm about to gauge the weight of a turtle. <laughs> Definitely pretty heavy though. Pretty, they're awesome creatures. These things could live over 100 years. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, buddy. You guys hear that? Some GP in the background just said it looks like a giraffe. <laughs> I could hear this ride squeaking from across the park actually. I was over in the King Dakot pathway and I could hear the whole thing like squeaking. <laughs> anyway, we're just coming up here to check on Superman and Green Lantern. It looks like they're both operating, but it's always fun just to walk around and get an idea of what's open, what's closed, and everything in between. The parachute tower here is, uh, no, there's a supervisor in there. I'm not sure if it's open or not though. I have to check to see if the uh, entrance opens or not. Also, a slingshot. I've been thinking about these rides lately, guys. Because with my uh, with my diamond membership, I get discounts on the upcharge attractions, and I think I get like an uh, extra ride on one of them or something like that. I'm not really too sure what the deals are, but uh, definitely gonna check these out at some point during the season. It looks like the parachute tower is officially closed. There's a sign going across the entrance over there. It's too bad. I'm always sad when the parachute tower is closed because it's one of the last ones remaining in the world. These old school first generation Intamin parachute towers. Oh, I don't know if it's actually first generation, but yeah. Green Lantern's open over there. Superman's open as well. A lot of people out here. Massive so, amounts of people. It's like school groups. You can tell like who's part of the school groups and who's not usually. They're all wearing uh, the same matching t-shirts. <laughs> Not only is this giant lantern really cool, and it does light up at night, but this uh, this overhang area with the queue line, which, by the way, it never, ever gets this long. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this, the queue line for this ride any longer than like 10 minutes. But uh, this whole overhang here, this is original. This came in 1989 when the Great American Screen Machine opened. I think it was 89. It might have been 88. I'm not 100% on that. Whew. Right over here is where the looping starship used to be. And before that, it was over near where Justice League is now. Crazy stuff. This building's been here forever. I got a question recently on that uh, big warehouse building over there. And uh, that was actually a 3D movie. It was like a, well, actually like a 4D movie. You like sat in uh, motion seats with 3D glasses on and the movie would show and uh, your seats would like go along with the movie. I think in the 80s, it showed uh, the right stuff, which is like an airplane themed um, video or something like that. It was themed toward the, the Right Stuff movie and had airplanes out in front and everything. And I actually believe that the airplane that's in the middle of Green Lantern over there was an airplane. I think that was part of the theming, possibly. I'm not 100% on that. But uh, they used to have airplanes out in front of this ride back in the day. And then uh, back when it was SpongeBob, it had uh, SpongeBob theming all over it. <laughs> and right now it's got a Takis advertisement. But it's, uh, it's got that airplane hangar style look to it, and that's definitely for the Right Stuff back in the day. Mr. Sorry if I'm a little bit shaky today, guys. I haven't vlogged in a couple weeks, so got to get all my stuff back together. Oh, here's the worst part. Look at that. No. No, thank you. That is terrifying. Oh. God. Pain. Pain is all I see when I see that ride.
ride's really cool actually, as you guys can see down here. It's actually controlled by a big giant box of springs that uh, contracts and uh, expands, which is kind of crazy. And then they kind of hang there for a minute. <laughs> Always fun. Just over there, and there's uh, one of those low-flying planes I was talking about. But yeah, after this I'm thinking we're going to head over to the other side of the park and we're going to check out uh, Justice League. See if that's uh, opening up. Over here, we've got the go cards. Another upcharge attraction here. Really fun though. I've done them a couple times. So over here on the boardwalk, something really funny. Uh, they got rid of the giant high striker for this tiny little kitty high striker. We actually have one of these kitty high strikers at my job, the entertainment company. And you can see the pad for the uh, original giant high striker right there. There's a tower up right there between the trees. I think it was about 10 or 20 feet tall. It was probably about 20 feet tall. An old striker. Now we have this tiny little striker. <laughs> I really don't know why this is here. This is a control panel. They actually have a control panel for the high striker, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, it was kind of like a ride. <laughs> but yeah, now we're down to this little dinky one. It's pretty funny. Here's that blue line again. I'm convinced that the line is uh, just for marking off where the safari is, maybe? I don't know. Uh, James, my friend, uh, Coaster Complex, he said that it could be for uh, Mardi Gras. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Surprisingly crowded out here today, guys. Honestly, like certain parts of the park are a little bit dead, but it's busy as hell over here. <laughs> a lot of school groups. Two Dini's Great Escape is open again. As you guys saw from a previous video that was closed earlier this season. Give me a trip. The photo place is open now. It's hard to see through the fountain. But it's finally open, so if you get your photos, you can get them there today. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm in kind of a weird mood today, guys. I don't know. I was in like a really good mood when I got here. Now I'm just kind of like, eh. Maybe it was the maybe it was the rap I had. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But uh, definitely a lot I mean, of seagulls eating some Johnny Rockets fries. I'm telling you, that's all these birds eat. Like it's just French fries and pieces of funnel cake that people throw at them. They are quite cool though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, weird that they're here though. This isn't near the ocean at all. We're about 20 or 30 miles or so from the ocean. This is the first reference I'm seeing to fly same as strips, like in the park at all. It used to be on every menu that uh, sold chicken strips and would say flag same as strips. Now it's like only there in front of that Johnny Rockets. I can't find it anywhere else in the park. But I mean, it's still the same chicken tenders. Like, I don't really understand like why they had to change it like that. We're gonna head over toward uh, Justice League and Cyborg right now. See what's going on over there. Apparently earlier today, somebody caught a photo in front of Cyborg of uh, the fence down. I don't know what that was all about. Like the whole fence in front of Cyborg was down and it was testing. Looking like it was about to open, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and also I heard that it might open up next Wednesday, which I believe is June 7th or June 8th. I'm not too sure. Um, it's not gonna be open to the public on that Wednesday. It's actually just gonna be open for members or season pass holders. I'm not even 100% sure on all the details yet. I'll let you guys know when they come. <laughs> they haven't stopped in an even weirder position this time. <laughs> Seriously, every time I walk by this ride, it's like stopped in an even weirder position. I don't know. I just want to see it like cycle fully. I've already seen it like fully cycle, but I want to see it today. <laughs> also, I want to see Justice League open too. I really want to get on that. I don't know why it has to be broken down right now. I just want to ride Justice League, gosh darn it. And Cyborg. Maintenance is up there on a jig lift. Not sure what they're working on. These guys down here.
other than maintenance, like putting some final touches on it, the ride's pretty much ready to go, it looks like. I'm not really sure what they're working on. Also, it looks like Justice League is closed. Womp womp. That's pretty sad. For a brand new ride that was just open last season, it's been closed all day. A little bit crazy. I don't know, I know Sally Corporation, the company that manufactured the dark ride for Justice League, they're a very reputable company and they make dark rides for multiple different parks across the world actually, for Disney, Universal, everyone. Um, so I'm surprised that this is experiencing the downtime that it's been experiencing lately. A little bit crazy. But yeah, I can still feel that I can still feel the AC coming out from the inside though. It's nice. Very nice. So they're coming down off of the uh, jig lift now. Maybe we'll see a test. I don't know. I'm not going to hang out here for very much longer, though. I'm uh, getting ready to head out, though. I have to work, actually, in a little bit. After I already had work this morning from 6 to 10 a.m. So uh, you guys could call this a jam-packed day for sure. So I worked this morning. I went to my aunt's house. I helped her with her storage unit. Now I'm here at the park. And then I have to go to my other job after this. So I don't know. A lot of stuff going on today. <laughs> well, like I was mentioning before, behind Cyborg, they have all that land cleared out. And they also have all of this land over here. Which obviously, well, the, the building for Justice League was where the old uh, Batman and Robin the Cheller station used to be. But if we peek over the fence real quick, you guys can see the old, uh, uh, the old outlines for the pathway. And the pathway used to go down that way a little bit, and then there was a, a Music Express or a Super Himalaya back there. I'm talking about stuff. I don't want to uh, <laughs> get into any trouble by recording them talking about anything sensitive. But uh, yeah, hopefully they develop all this area back here too. Like I could see this whole area being filled up with rides again like it used to be. That'd be really, really awesome. And maybe even a couple shops or midway games. I mean, there's like endless possibilities here. Like we have this whole pathway here that's just empty. The only thing that's on it is Cyborg. So they can definitely utilize a lot of this space back here. Hopefully maybe even another coaster. Hmm. Try to bring our coaster count back up to compete with Cedar Point and Magic Mountain. So that'd be really cool. Could you guys imagine if Great Adventure had the most coasters instead of Cedar Point? I know a lot of you uh, Cedar Point fanboys out there are probably like, no, no, we want all the coasters here, but no, Great Adventure is such a great park, and uh, I really hope we do get some new credits in the future. Definitely need it. I'm pretty sure that I talked about this already in the video, but the Hagen dazs construction is definitely taking place pretty strong over here. I got like four or five guys working on it, it looks like. Can't really see too far over the fence, and I don't want to peek my camera over the fence any more than I did already. So I don't want to get in trouble, but you guys can see them all the way back. They got a full building frame in place, and it uh, looks like they're repositioning a ladder right now. And uh, they're definitely getting construction along nice. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head out toward the entrance right now. I think we're going to call it a day. I'm, I apologize if the vlog's a little bit short. It's kind of crazy, like sometimes I record a vlog, I'll think it's like short, and then it ends up being an hour long. And I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be up there. Not really sure. Well, right now we're about to call it a day and head out toward the exit. Sorry if this vlog's a little bit short. Um, I'm actually not really sure if it's gonna be short or it's gonna be long. Because honestly, while I'm recording these videos, I really don't have any idea like how long it's gonna be. Because sometimes it'll be an hour, sometimes it'll be 30 minutes, sometimes it'll be like 10 minutes. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is longer than 10 minutes though. I might pick up one of these patriotic coaster tees too. They're only $7.99 um, for the pass holder special, or something like that. It's pretty awesome. Might end up purchasing one of those. Anyways, you can see we're about to pass through security on the way out, so that's pretty much gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment. If you disliked it, that's fine too. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Also, there's a security guard back there behind me. She has a metal detector and she's scanning along the edge of the fence. Uh, I have no idea why. I, I stopped her. I was like, um, are you looking for like uh, explosives or something? <laughs> she started laughing. But yeah, we're heading out right now. <laughs> Just thought that was hilarious.